What's up, everybody? What's up? Thank you for joining me. I hope that you guys loved that song because they came to Fresno recently and I found out about it. I checked them out. I think that they sound fantastic. They got that cool bluesy vibe, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I these dig guys it. are from Arizona. Yeah, really cool band. They're just a trio, too. That's what I really like about it. Uh, Phoenix, Arizona. You could purchase their music on all music platforms. And the cool thing about them, too, if you're old school, you, they sell CDs. Awesome. <laughs> I still like CDs. I do. I still hey. play my CDs. I don't care. I'm not throwing them away or That's anything right. like That's that. That's right. So that band is called the Deadbeat Cousins. Um, and you can find their website. That's what it's called. The deadbeatcousins.com if you're interested in purchasing their music or finding out their tour dates, things like that. So, anyways, what's up, bro? Not much, not much, man. Just here, ready to do Fresno vibes. Another check week. this out, check this out. My brother tried to get out of coming to the show today, <laughs> and I was like, uh, no, I'm going to go pick you up. So, that's that. <laughs> and I'm glad you're here because Gina, Gina, the assistant, was busy. She could not make it tonight. And to be perfectly honest with you, my first couple of shows a year ago, I did completely by myself. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I, a I was no, here. No, you went there for a video. Yes, I was here for the first day. Yeah, I was here. But you weren't I don't think you were here. I know I did it by myself. I was here with Rocco. We were yeah. Food. I was here. Yes. But you weren't on camera. No. You're absolutely right. Oh, I wasn't on camera, but okay, I was here. that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, but I was here. Okay. But me and Gina, we have a habit of uh, being absent on the same day, All, too. Every <laughs> single time. I had to ask him today. I was like, so you guys are like, I don't want to go today. Well, then I'm not going to go today. Oh, that's you're what not going to go. Like. Then I'm not, I'm not going to go. go. Like, what the hell? That's what it seems like. So what's up, Gina? I hope you guys are watching. I'm not, it's not on my personal Facebook. We're having technical difficulties trying to figure stuff out. Um, this is going to really cut into my viewership. Um, I don't know if you know what if I should say anything because everybody watch it on YouTube tonight. Everybody watch it on Fresno Vibes with Miss G. That's my pers That's my Fresno Vibes page. So, anyways, we are having water tonight because I haven't been drinking. T uh, I haven't been drinking margaritas every night. That's good. That's good though. You know. Yeah. It's nice to you know. Me and Eric were getting carried away with the margaritas. Mm -hmm. Guys doing the Eric and Rochelle show. Yeah, yeah. And then finally we were like, um, we should not do this every night. It's stupid. Right? Yeah. Yeah, when you get older, it's not, it's not. As, like, why? It's not that much fun, actually. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, but hear me out. Hear me out. So, <laughs> he buys beer. He drinks a little bit of beer, and I'm not that much of a beer fan, right? So, it's probably been like, I don't know, two, three weeks. Mm -hmm, we haven't had mm -hmm. margaritas. So, last night I was like, look, man. I need for you to just go buy me a little bottle, just a, just a little bottle. Right, those little flask bottles. I yeah, like those too. Yeah, just enough, yeah. not the big bottle. No 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 no, 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 no. I just want a little zip, you know, mm -hmm. just a little taste. Right. And he was like, "Well, it costs too much. You might as well just get a big bottle." <laughs> I see the logic in that, but. I'm like, no, 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 no. See, because what's going to happen is then it's going to turn into the Rochelle and Eric show. Right. And we're going to get drunk, and we got to go to work tomorrow. And you guys will be up till midnight playing music, yeah. One, two o'clock in the morning, oh, yeah. that's what the Rochelle and Eric show is. I've we... been there. I've done that uh, with yes! you guys. It's a lot of fun. I'm like, we cannot do that, man. Just get a small one. Playing old videos. and Yeah. yeah. And guess what? We were so good. Were, you, really, we did. were you good? Were you really, so really good. good? We were really, really well, good. that's good. I'm so proud of us, man. Me too. Yeah, so you're going on a... Um, no eat food diet. Yes, and it's fantastic because I've lost a total of seven pounds. I'm jealous. Well, I well I'm hungry. I was hoping that you know. <laughs> what, what are you gonna make for dinner so you could take me to um, your house? Or... I'm not making anything for dinner. Oh, I'm here. Damn it! Damn it! Eric is supposed to be making some spaghetti. So mm, we'll oh, see what happens. Oh, that's where I'm going. <laughs> yes. And that sounds good to me. He doesn't make it as good as me though. <laughs> oh. Trust me, I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah, because you're on the um, ice and jello diet. Yes, right? yes. Hardcore, dude. Hardcore, going hardcore. That's and it works. Badass. It works, yeah. I know, it's incredible, right? When you don't eat food, you lose weight. Yeah. <laughs> it works, it works. It's brutal, though. It's brutal. I can't do it. I want to, but I got people in my home that need to eat. And they're demanding food. Oh, oh. yeah. Baby was like, 
make your requests. I want this for dinner. I want this. And then oh. when are you making dinner? That kind of thing. That kind of stuff. Is it ready yet? yet. You know, <laughs> yeah. Kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, you know, it's hard to have delicious food and make it and not eat. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely impossible. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't have that kind of self-control. Who does? To, have, to, to make food, and I think I make pretty good food, and not eat it or only eat a little bit. Oh, forget that. <laughs> that kind of power. I have the habit of, you know, as I'm cooking the food, I'm eating it. Yes. Oh, I do you that. You gotta taste it. You gotta taste it. You gotta make sure it's all right, all the seasonings right on the meat. And, and oh, then yeah. when it's really good, you just keep eating Keep going some more. and keep going and oh, going. And then you make a plate, you know. You eat some more. More. Yeah. This domesticated married life is bullshit, man. And then when you put the rest of it, the leftovers away, you know, you eat a little bit more. I know. Yeah. God, we've got to stop. Well, you God, guys are doing I good. I miss that, though. I, <laughs> you know, I must admit, I miss it. I miss the, the house smelling good, you know, yeah. smelling like enchiladas, rice and beans. It's a thing in our house. Like, I turn Damn on some music, you Well, know? you know, yeah, it feels like, kind of weird because it's like, well. What do we do? What do we do, you know? Yeah. What You're do losing you do? weight. Focus on that. Yeah. But, you That's know, awesome. I wish we'll I could see. not eat food. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> okay, everybody, it's time for Jack Hole of the Week. <laughs> or, I'm not even sure this is Jack Hole of the Week, okay? I just think this guy is funny. So turn up your TVs <laughs> because here's what's happening. Here's what's happening. Let's just give you a little preview of what's happening. There's protesters protesting something, right? Uh huh. And they're being loud. They're doing what protesters right. do. Yeah. And picketing um, got signs. Yeah, yeah. They're you know they're doing what they're supposed to do or whatever. But maybe they chose the wrong spot. So go ahead and play it and let's see. Who's this. got the power? We got the power. What kind of power? People. This is library. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Did you get to watch that? Yeah. You got to turn it off. Yeah. That was funny. You didn't even get to see it. Well, I could see what happened. Oh, man. So what happens is, is like he, um, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a really adorable little Asian guy. He just goes in there and goes, "Hey, this is library." <laughs> I just love it. And then the video, like he puts on, they put on some, they put on some gangster stuff right. on him. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed that. that was so a good one. anyway, my next guest is here. I hope you guys enjoy poetry. So um, this guy has a cool name and he looks really cool too. So check it out. This is Dead Insta Poet. Come on over, dude. Come on over. How's it going? Been good. How, How long has it been? How long uh, has it been? I say that it's actually, it's actually has been a while. Yeah, actually, a year at least, or more. Yeah, and actually, it's good that you actually picked me to actually, um, you know, for this actual day. And actually, I was, I was actually, I was actually grateful for it because I had to do like a few scavenger hunt things. I put some po poems up and for people to go ahead and get a two hundred dollar gift card this time. What? So, You're yeah, balling so. out of control now, dude. Yeah, yeah. The last time you uh, were here, you talked about. I really, first of all, I really love your whole. Um, I would call that street marketing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's dope. I've never heard of it before. Anybody doing that besides you? Feelings to each other. Mm. And, and I guess it was also dysfunctional in a way as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a little hot, so do you guys mind if I take off my mask? Of course yeah. not. If, right, if, if, right. if you're comfortable, right. that's your thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's even creepier, dude. Yeah, yeah. Look and it's at not you. Raiders. It's not Raiders. It says undead. So. <laughs> Seriously, like, look at, look at, look at yourself. You can't, it's like there's nothing there. There's nothing Let there. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. There's something on the side. I didn't see it from yeah, this side. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, it does say undead. And then it, says it has a three dots. Let me right see. Here. Let me yeah. see. Nice. <laughs> that was. Put the other mask back on. I don't even know where to look now. Yeah, I'm just playing. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's actually. This is. This one was actually really good. I how I ended up getting this one, and I ended up ordering this one on Etsy.com. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, and then I said, you know what, I had to have it. So. And then, it's perfect for you. Yeah, and I and I actually had made this one so. 
And then you were telling me, you're like, oh, are you going to change your mask or whatever? And I said, yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it. <laughs> that is so, creepy, man. It's going to be new and improved every year. So, yeah. Good, you're good. Get some surprises every time. I like it. I like it. All right. Well, have you done any open mic lately or anything like um, that? There's actually going to be, um, actually, I want to, um, they said that there was actually a few of them, actually, in Fresno State College. Um, there's one called, uh, um, it's actually like a, it is an open mic from mm -hmm. what I know, but um, f as far as I know about it, uh, uh, I think it's called, let's see. But are you going to perform? Fresno Black Girl Magic Project. Ooh. That's what it is. Shout out to them. They're actually um, bringing um, poetry back and they are, t they're having writing classes and showing people how to write and then you get to, I guess you get to end up, um, you know, doing an open mic out there with them. So, but are you going to be there? I want to be there. Yeah, um, and I got a homegirl there who's actually going to be performing there as well. Enlighten the poet. Yeah. She, yeah. So I know who she, that is. Yeah, she. She's um, singing yeah, now shout too. Shout out to her. Much love and respect to her. I, I'm like, we're gonna get, we're gonna collaborate soon. So, we got something cooking up for on my free guys. So we're we're keeping poetry alive, and that's the thing about. I really want to keep poetry alive. I'm with you. I'm with you. It's a yeah. beautiful art. So much success. And thank you for coming back. Thank you. I'm, I'm always glad to, you know, I don't, I, I think you, so far you're still the only poet that's ever been on my show. Yeah, and I really want to, in, I, I would really like to end up seeing a lot more. Yes, yeah. so we had to inspire those kids out yeah. there that are, you know, put pen to paper down, your feelings and everything like that. Just go ahead, man. And even if you keep it for yourself, that's okay yeah. too. And also want to give a uh, give a good shout out to, uh, to D-Boy and Chiefin from LSK. Um, um, their their stuff is really good, and I lit, and I I'm like I ended up chopping up with him quite a few times, and he's uh he's quite the artist, and hit and the way he thinks it's it's very poetic as well. I actually, and that's the way I like his uh his music. If you guys can find him on SoundCloud. Well, you're gonna be excited because guess what I'm playing next. Uh, D boy, D -boy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, cause because you recommended, you had me check it out. So, are you guys ready? It's oh, yeah. time to play uh, D-Boy. This is D-Boy. He's a local rap artist. He told me all about him, so I needed to check it out because that's what I like to play here. I like to play local, unsigned, um, no contracts. That way I don't get in trouble. This song is called Broccoli, and you can find them on Instagram. So go ahead and check it out. All of my demons, they live up inside of me Fuck that little hoe, she gon' lie to me I keep a toolie strap right by the side of me Tell me now who gonna ride for me You get some guap and you drop on the lottery I throw a bag on some property You quit the bitch, you still living in poverty I'm trying to build a monopoly I'm smoking bit like I fuck with the pottery Three for the pound of the broccoli I'm toting two for the ones who been watching me Serving up murders and robberies I got my Instagram close to the block If you fucking with me, I can't fall asleep she get to pop and we throwing a mask like it's Halloween I'm pulling up, killing, I'm feeling alive I'm pushing that phone to the side A kid who forever just trying to get by Let's get it, I go and get mine Ambitions are lifting myself to the sky Was brought up with hell of a guy I'm kissing that pin lemon lime I'm rolling up, fuck who you came when I'm still getting high Still getting not uh. uh Alex and me, we be rolling a lot. Sold hella shit and we never been caught. Ford F-150, all cash from the pot. I'm rolling and smoking my way to the top. For Lemmy, I'm down in the city of dogs. Green in my lungs, green bay the squad. I just smoke doobies, I quit all the stove. Stop putting candy real close to my nose. LSK shit got it tatted for show. Bossed up a little and save me some dough. Ain't caught me no bling, no, I caught me a blow. How they want beef, then they throw in a towel. Say you a man, but you act like a child. Me, LSD, she say, daddy, I'm down. Oh my goodness, everything's crazy, nothing's working right, okay? I'm just going to roll through it and try to continue that this is going to be good from this point on. Okay, that was D-Boy, you guys. Uh, that song was called Broccoli. Again, they're from Fresno. 
support, get out there and, you know, check them out on Instagram, stuff like that. But now we're going to take a few moments because you guys know how much I love to do food reviews. This is a little bit different. It's not so much a food review as it is they are sending in pictures to Gordon Ramsay. And you know how Gordon Ramsay uh, could be a little bit of a a-hole. So um, turn it up so everybody in the audience here can listen. This is funny. I call this um, Gordon Ramsay is a jackhole. But I think it's awesome. <laughs> Shut it down. <laughs> He's already starting. <laughs> what do you think, Gordon Ramsay? A smile for you, mate. How do you turn eggs into eggplants? What do you think of my chicken tikka masala? Chicken s masala! <laughs> How about this pizza bite, Gordon Ramsay? Pizza s <laughs> Stop it, Gordon! Stop! <laughs> Gordon Ramsay, fresh take on deer flank and mushroom sauce. How did I do? Oh, dear! <laughs> Of my smoky barbecue chopsticks. <laughs> Gordon, be nice. Be nice, Gordon. Barbecue cremated, you mean? <laughs> Looks like you've been smoking and not at all. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay, what do you think of my veggie and beefless tips? Stir fry and rice. It's vegan. Looks incredibly dry. As for the beefless tip, it tastes like fish food for a quest. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh, Gordon Ramsay, what do you think of this deconstructed tuna salad? Lunch is served. Looks like the cat's been sick and the lettuce. Never deconstruct when you can't construct.
What's up? What's up, Fresno Vibes? Are we on? Can you guys hear me? Is there anybody out there? Is there anything else that could go wrong tonight? Lord Jesus. My God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so sorry for everything that's going on, guys. We were having a lot of technical difficulties. <clears throat> that band is called Kickin' Valentina. They are fantastic. The lead singer is from Fresno, but they are not from Fresno. They're not really local. I hope you guys got to watch. I know crazy things have been going on tonight, but you could check out their website at kickinvalentina.com for tour dates. They, if, if you dig good rock and roll, that's the band. And sorry, guys, I'm going to have to play you guys again next week because it's been so crazy. All your fans wanted to watch my show. All they, they wanted to hear your music on my show on my Facebook. But hopefully you guys switched over to YouTube. But, okay, it's one of those nights, man. <laughs> Have you guys ever had a night like this or a day like this? Is the shit's going wrong? Well, yesterday. Yesterday. <sighs> all right, all right. Let me introduce you. Let me introduce you. Everybody, put your hands together because this guy is a champ in my mind. He is a champ in boxing. He is professional. And I like to say his name like this. Jesus Sanchez Ibarra. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, so let's talk about what's going on, guys. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So you had a fight scheduled yeah. and... I had a fight scheduled this Saturday. And unfortunately, you know, I got the call from the promoter saying that, you know, my opponent, uh, he went to a Halloween party and then he got assaulted. And therefore, he couldn't fight. And then I was like, they were trying to look for uh, an opponent, another opponent last minute, but they just couldn't find it. And mm. like, damn... Like, mm. When did you find out? Uh, just yesterday. Oh, yeah, just yesterday. Yeah, Monday. Yeah, yesterday. Ah, <sighs> man, that's a total letdown. And yeah, but, I mean, but, you know, you work hard, you train yeah. hard, but yeah. that is the nature of the business. Yeah, it, things mm -hmm. come up. We train hard, uh, six, seven weeks, very hard sparring and training the uh, mitts and doing the uh, strength conditioning and everything, the running. Uh, we trained very I hard. Know, I know, I know. We I see you. I we see ready. you. We were ready. Um, on the way, we were already good and everything. Just, you know, unfortunately, this happened. And just like, as we say, it's like it happened for a reason, you know? Mm -hmm. just, mm -hmm. I mean, just stay in the gym, keep working hard. Assaulted. So that means he got injured in some kind of way? Probably, yeah. I don't know. They what didn't give you details? Way. No, just said that. Uh, assaulted, maybe, you know. Wow. Well, that's un that is very, very unfortunate. But yeah. keep your head up because yeah. you're an incredible athlete. Yeah. And everybody, this is his brother, Hugo. If you don't know who this is, this is Hugo. This is his brother. This is his right-hand man yeah. slash manager slash promoter slash everything. Yeah. Coach, too. <laughs> Right. Yeah, yeah. So what do we? What's next, man? What What are we gonna? Do? What's gonna happen here? So I'm already in contact with a couple of, uh, other promoters, throwing another show here, and he's throwing in January in Bakersfield. Hopefully, is know, it a different promoter? Different promoter. Oh. Um, we've known him for a while, so he's trying to work us, you know, for getting his suits in. Good. And uh, you know, just take some time off. You know, we work hard for this fight. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cross your fingers and hopefully everything comes. Yeah, definitely. Everything, always, everything always, happens. Yeah, I always do my part, you know. Always do, you know, work hard, try to, you know, make the right way, the contract way and everything. I always do my part, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's, I mean, it's something that I couldn't get, like, it was in my control, you know. Right, right. And, um, yeah, I had, I had my, my people to go support me and everything and just, you know, and it's a little disappointing, but you the know, trunks. We yeah. got the sponsors on them too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you use those for next time? Oh yeah, oh, yeah for sure. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 So that's fantastic. That's that's really good. So this fight was scheduled for Bakersfield, and you got a different promoter that's going to bring a fight to Bakersfield. Is that what you're? Is that what you said? Yes, yeah, a different promoter. He oh, actually wow. put on a, a show a couple weeks ago there in Bakersfield too. So Bakersfield's starting to get some boxing. Wow. Yeah. But, uh, Getting yeah. in on it. Yeah. Yeah, both. That's good. Yeah. More fights, yeah. the more opportunity. Yeah. yeah. To also fight. for for this promoter that we're gonna fight in this card, uh, I think uh, they they talked to Hugo and then uh, they said that they're gonna have one in March. You know, so January, March. You know, Ooh, that's definitely. right here. I wanna, I get, I wanna get the. I mean, I, hopefully everything goes good, fight by fight. You know, 
uh, get as many fights as I can, you know. Hopefully, yes. you know, s- soon we're going to start fighting six rounds. Six rounds. So. Stepping it up. Stepping Ooh, it up. Ooh, stepping it up a notch. If ever, if it, th- I have a lot of, I have a lot of fight fans that watch my show, boxing fans, but mm-hmm. if there's anybody out there that doesn't know who you are, tell them a little bit about yourself, such as, you know, I know that you're super welterweight, mm-hmm. um, give them your, your record, you know, things mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, I'm a welterweight, fire 147. Um, my record's five wins, uh, one loss, yeah, with four knockouts. Ooh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Five um, wins, yeah. one loss. Yeah. I don't remember that. When did that happen? No, yeah. Uh, I, that was my second fight. Mm, you know, I didn't it, know you yet. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it yeah. is. Yeah. Uh, my first two fights were in India yeah, with a, a recognized coach, uh, Joel Diaz. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And my first two fights, but I had a tough fight. My, my loss, I had a tough fight. This, this, Cuban, this Cuban guy that had 300 amateur fights. Wow. You know, we saw videos of him and everything, and we, we took the fight because we, we were training hard, you know, sparring, like, the best, you know, mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. for example, Victor Ortiz, you know, and Felix Diaz, the Olympic gold medalist. We were sparring good, so we yeah. thought, you know, we, we got it. this. Yeah, we got this. Uh, we dropped them in the second round. Uh, <gasps> Yeah, but I've seen. Wait a second, I've seen that video. Is there a video of this? Yeah, it's on oh, YouTube. Oh, I've seen yeah, this. Yes. Go ahead and watch it on YouTube. You know, but I mean, compared to that, to that time, to now, I feel like I've gotten much better. You know, more yeah. relaxed, more relaxed, more confident. It's a lesson yeah. learned. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That we take yeah. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, good luck with everything that's going on. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. Don't stress. Everything's be going to be fine. Yeah. But what an amazing boxing weekend we had. Oh, yeah, that was yeah. a lot of boxing. Awesome. Woo! Yeah. All yeah. scheduled for on one night. Yeah. Canelo. Canelo. Ah, oh, man. Let me tell you guys, everybody. First of all, I'm not, I cannot front and act like I got to watch anything because I was very honored, but I got invited to host a comedy show. So I was very um, sad, <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm not one to back out. You know what I mean? I'm not going to not do it. You know, when I say I'm going to do something, you got to do it, right? So I'm like, wow, man, I'm going to miss this, this, this. And uh, I wasn't very happy, but I had to do what I had to do. And I got home just probably the last two rounds of the Canelo fight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. What did you guys think? About that fight? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. My my opinion is it was a good fight. You know, I just felt like uh, Sergei Kovalev, the Russian guy, uh, mm-hmm. he fought against. I felt like uh, he was just doing a lot of tappy tappies, not not really like throwing the big uh, power punches. Power punches. I felt like uh, he could have, you know, I don't know for some reason. I don't know why. Well, you know? Uh, from what I was when I watched finally at the end, and you know, you listen to the commentators talking. They talked about how, in fact, when I got home, Eric was like, "It's a little boring. The, fi- yeah. the fight's a little yeah. boring." But they, that was their both. That was both of their strategy, just to take it easy, take it easy, take it mm-hmm. easy, just mm-hmm. tap, 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 Probably blah, blah, blah. Uh, but then finally at the end, yeah, it happened. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, Canelo is a power hitter. Yeah. And I, what I really love about Canelo, too, is, is how, he, you know, he'll get hit, but boom, he, he, gives, he gives one right back yeah. real fast. Yeah. No, yeah, well, you got to give a lot of respect to Canelo because there's a reason why he's up there. You know? Absolutely. He, he trains hard, you know. He wants to become number one pound for pound. Yes. You know? And um, he changed class. He, he, he went up in weight class. Yeah, he did. Uh, he... Like that's yeah. not a comfortable weight yeah. for him. He was saying uh, one seventy five. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. A lot of people criticize him. You know, for the kind of opponents he's. You know, they think like for this, for example, this kind of opponent. Like they think like he's already going downhill because he's old. Like he was 36, 36 mm-hmm. years old. You know, so um, he gets. Canelo's uh, in his thirties too. Yeah. I mean, there wasn't that big of an age yeah. difference, man. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I mean, this guy's won uh, belts in all, in all of the weight classes almost. Yeah. And this, is, this was his fourth division. That's a, that's amazing. Yeah. You know, he's not afraid to you know move up, move down, take whoever wants to. He's he's you know he's yeah. conquered it all almost. I mean, I've always been a fan. I'm glad that he won. Yeah. So congratulations to Canelo Alvarez. <laughs> I always love to see him fight, and I all, I was like the last two rounds, man. I just yeah. made it. Did you guys get to watch? Yeah. No, yeah, all of, of course, and right? It started it started pretty late because there were there. It took I think like Nate Diaz. They're waiting for the Nate Diaz, Master Vidal. Mas- right. The, the UFC fight. You know, yes. At the same yeah. time. Are you a Are you a uh, MMA fan? 
Did you watch uh, not, that one as really. well? I mean, I respect MMA fighters just, you know, the same as boxers, but um, I don't really, we don't really watch MMA. <gasps> MMA no. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I feel the exact same way. Like, I'm a hardcore boxing fan. Yeah, I yeah. love the science. That's what's called the sweet science. Yeah. I love, I just feel like it's more... I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. I, I mean, you know, it just gets really brutal and almost like, well, you're, it's barroom fighting. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what it is. I'm. I'm a boxing fan. Yeah. But yeah, that was that was a, the night. That was definitely a Saturday of boxing, MMA. Yeah. And and if did anybody see the gash in Marlena? What was her name? Marlene Esparza's head. Yeah, it was, it was deep. It was, is she gonna be okay? Has anybody heard anything? I know she yeah. got stitched up. Yeah, she I think did. They, I follow her on Instagram. I think she posted a couple of videos after that. Whoo! Yeah, the next day. I yeah. missed that fight completely. Did you guys get to watch it at all? Yeah, yeah. got to watch it. Uh, like live or the next day? Live, live, live. Yeah. She toughed it out. She fought the whole fight. Yeah. I don't know if that was safe. <laughs> Yeah. My yeah. God! She she got yeah. headbutted like in the fifth. They were gonna fight ten rounds, mm -hmm. and she got headbutted in the fifth round, and then she went all the way through to the ninth round. When she was in the corner, you know they. That's yeah. crazy. So she went three rounds longer after the headbutt. After the headbutt. Oh yeah. no. Yeah. I, I think oh. at the moment maybe she didn't feel it. Yeah. She didn't think it was as bad. Yeah. But, but that's she, what your corner's for. Yeah. I don't think that she. Uh, uh, the the the. The corner, at the time, they don't, they see that you have a big cut, they try to make it seem like it's not big. They don't want to scare you. Yeah, they don't want you to make you think like yeah, that. That's how that's how it's practically there. You're good, you're yeah, good. Yeah, good. You're good. Let good. me just press it a little harder with a towel. I heard that the towels were full of blood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she was dripping blood all on her face. And it was just, oh, man. Yeah, no. But, until that, she she basically said, like, on the, on the corner, she said, like, I can't see. I can't see, you know. That so reminds the, me. Do you guys remember the fight between Kelisto Medera and oh. Smoker Joe Louis Lopez? Yeah. Oh. That was here yeah. in Fresno at the yeah. Savemar Center. I was there. He got a cut. Yeah. And it was just, Gushing. oh, my God. It was just God. like that. It was just like that. He yeah. couldn't see. Yeah. Yeah. He couldn't see. They never stopped the fight. Yeah. And how can you fight if there's blood in, blood in your eyes? Yeah. <laughs> I, think the, I think at the moment, just fighters, you know. They don't want to give up. Adrenaline. Action. Adrenaline. There you yeah. go. They don't feel it. Cause that, that happened to me on my on my third fight. Mm -hmm. And uh, on my third fight, um, I punched the the guy really hard in the in the head. I felt it. I felt it. The the pain. But at the in moment, your hand. Yeah. At the moment of the, I punched him, but throughout the fight, uh, the fight finished and everything. And then I didn't know it was that bad that my hand was like Swole. super swollen. Both wow. of my hands. Both of my hands were super swollen. And How I, was his head? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you felt it. Imagine how he felt, yeah, huh? Yeah. Man, that's tough. This is a tough oh, sport. Yeah. Tough sport. This, this is, is for gladiators only, man. <laughs> they say it's the number one toughest sport, and Absolutely. I, I feel like I do agree with that, you know? 100%. It's dangerous. Have yeah. you guys noticed that there's. I, I mean, I don't know. I've been a boxing fan for a long time, my, my entire life. And I have never. Maybe I didn't know about it. I don't know. But there's. People are getting, people are dying yeah, I mean, in the ring. Unfortunately, yeah. yeah. Does, is, it, is it more now? Or is it, is it just we know about it more? I don't know. Yeah, I was just, I mean, for the Canelo fight, they did a 10, uh, 10 second countdown. Uh, I mean, oh, how does it count? Uh, the the belt. Bell. Yeah, the belt. To respect. Count yeah. for Patrick Day. You know, he just, like, a month ago or less than a month yes. ago, he passed the yeah. I think that it's already like four or five this I year. Think it's like fifth one, yeah. yeah. It is five, huh? Yeah, I think it's the fifth one. Right? See, yeah. so to me, in my mind, I'm like, this is a lot. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember this happening like this before. Can you guys remember that? No. No, no right? I, mean, like, I think it has to do a lot with the weight cut. You know, the fighters, they cut weight like 20, 30 pounds, and then in one night, they bring it back up. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. dangerous, you know. They dehydrate so much, you know, and they feel like. Like Canelo himself, he usually walks around like 190, 200 pounds. He would cut down to 160, and then in one night, you know, he'll be at 180, 190. Maybe. When, when the Maybe. other fighters only still at like 165, 170. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. You know, it happened to us in Stockton, you know. So do you feel like they're cutting? they Do you feel like boxers are cutting more weight faster, more drastically, maybe than they used to in the past? Perhaps. What do you think? I mean, because something's going on. Something's yeah. definitely up, man. Yeah. Five in one year. The year's not even over yet. 
yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it is crazy. Yeah. This is a this is a sport. This is an, a, a gladiator sport. But mm. something's up. Or, or maybe perhaps the fighters are getting more stronger. Maybe. Mm. I mean, you know, just like technology improves. You know, like everything improves. You know, and you know, fighters nowadays they they find out better ways to you know do that kind of stuff. You know. I don't know. Something is contributing. Mm -hmm. Something needs to be done. Um, I have in my lifetime, I've never heard of five deaths in one year. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah, five in one year. It's it, it's it's unprecedented, and nobody's talking about it. You know what I mean? Like, and nobody's like, what's the, what's the issue? How come nobody's going? How come the doctors? I mean, shouldn't doctors, coaches, being start looking at each other, go, hmm, this is weird. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> this is weird. What's going on? What are we doing different? So. Because what the California Boxing Commission did change is um, the weight. So basically, they cannot mm -hmm. be above 15% the next day when they're fighting. So they'll weigh in, like, per se, 160. Yeah. They cannot be at least, like, 15 pounds heavier. They have to be in a certain limit. And now they won't allow the fight? They won't allow to cancel it right then and there. Hmm. But that's good. So it's cutting, yeah, it's cutting mm -hmm. that weight that weight cut, weight yeah. drop and then you know that um, so that's good that's that's trying yeah. to protect the boxer yeah, definitely yeah. so they're finding ways you know they're finding ways so this less you know, could happen less you know? mm, good but, yeah, that's good because back then part. they even used to fight 15 rounds back then i know that's crazy right? <laughs> what the they dropped it to 12 rounds so yeah. i still so think bad. 12 is a lot <laughs> yeah but back in the day you're right i mean it was, it, yeah i mean i don't know what's happening something's going on and i know that the commission is always trying to think of ways to protect the boxer in some kind of way, but I don't know. Something's definitely uh, getting something scary. But, well, guys, just keep on doing what you're doing. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm just, I love the sport, you know. I mean, I love what I do, you know. And, you know, same time, I, you know, I try to motiv motivate other kids, you know. Mm -hmm. like, you know Be a look, good role model. Yeah, they look up for me, you know. That's right. And, you know, just as long as, you know, I stay myself in shape and healthy and, you know, motivated, you know, I keep on going on the sport, you know. Uh, well, Hugo, it's your job to find him some, some fights. Oh, definitely, yes. You definitely. know, are you making phone calls? Are you are, are they calling oh, yeah. you up? Yeah, I'm always... What's going on? Are, are they like, hey, man, people are finding out that the fight got canceled, so is yeah. anybody reaching out to you? Or Yeah, I'm making phone calls, you know, definitely. We have a couple promoters that are interested in Isuzu, you know, Toscano Boxing Promotion. We fought in Stockton in their card. Yeah. When's, what, what, what do they got? Anything scheduled? <sighs> they got something scheduled in Tijuana, Mexico in December. Fortunately, mm -hmm. you know, we won't be able to make it to that one. Okay. But definitely, though, I think they'll be back around in March. Yeah. Same time as this guy, John uh, Pratt. He was an awesome dude. Him and Joseph Lagarde, the matchmaker, they literally we went through a whole list of fighters because they were either too busy for this one, for the Saturday. They were too busy. They were injured or they couldn't fight. You know? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Until we finally found one, and he decided not to be a professional athlete and go to a party late at night. Like, right. Who does that? Who does yeah. that? Right before a fight. You got a week, man, and you're going to... For what, it. Halloween? Yeah. <laughs> it was a Halloween party. Yeah. Like, come on. And he got assaulted. The weird thing about it is, like, have, have you ever noticed, like, when fighters somehow get in a little tussle or whatever, when on their off time or whatever, they end up, like... Getting in trouble for almost killing a guy. <laughs> yeah. You got to stay out of that shit. Yeah. You got to completely stay away from that. Keep your nose clean. Mm -hmm. Stay home. Yeah. No parties. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. In you don't seem like the type. In bed by six. <laughs> this guy? <laughs> nah, not that early. Really. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> six days. Yeah. Ah, no. Gets up early. He's tired, man. No, yeah, I mean, that's why I'm saying it's one of the toughest sports, you know, because you have to do a lot of sacrifices, you know, you know. Uh, to be 100% in the ring because it's a, sp it's a sport that you don't play with, you know. That's right. You could play basketball, like, you know, that one of those, one of the commentators, famous commentators, you say you play basketball, you could play soccer, you could play football, but boxing, you don't play, play. with. You, know? you don't play in boxing. Yeah, you don't play boxing. Up to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's a tough sport, so it requires a lot of discipline because, you know, those deaths, you know. Uh, as me, you know, I try to do as much as I can as to stay, like, good uh, you know ready fight ready you know yeah I mean I follow you on Facebook I follow you on Instagram and you're always working out you're always mm -hmm. at the gym yeah, yeah. you too yeah, yeah. brothers aren't they adorable I love these guys <laughs> yeah. man thank you, are you thank guys you. still in Madeira 
Yeah. yeah. Still, Still working out at the gym in Madeira? Yeah, yes, same definitely. Gym. Yeah. Pastor, yeah. Pastor Eddie, you know, yeah, Pastor, it's a great Pastor guy. Edwards, Gallegos, you know. They were, they were planning on going to our fight. Yeah. You know? The First crazy time. thing about it, dude, the crazy thing about it is I've been a fan of yours and I've been following you since uh, main event, main mm. event boxing gym. That's yeah. how I found you guys. Yeah. That's how I found you, right? And think about this. I've been a sponsor. I've had you on my mm. show, but I have not seen you fight one time. <laughs> Yeah. Isn't yeah. that crazy? Yeah. Yeah. crazy? Think about the first one, the Tower, uh, the Tower Theater. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, one. and then the, the and then the last one, the Stockton. last one, Stockton. Um, I didn't get my uh, I didn't get my media pass. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now I was like, all right, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be it. Finally. I mean, I've seen you on you know YouTube and stuff like that, but I like to be the ringside oh, yeah. right a, there, yeah. man. It's a different vibe, different. You know, Absolutely. You, you, feel it. Yeah. you feel it. You feel the energy. You're there. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, More fun. you get close enough, you might get some sweat on you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, this happened. Yeah. So I'm just gonna keep on um, supporting you guys both. Oh, yeah. Thank you. One hundred percent. He called me up yesterday and was like, oh, man, you guys sound alike on the phone. I was yeah. like, who am I talking to? <laughs> is this Hugo? Yeah. <laughs> who is this? Jesus? Oh, okay. They call, he called me up yesterday. He's like, you're not going to believe this, man, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, that's yeah. okay because something's going to come up. And you're really smart. You guys are very um, into this sport. So yeah. you're just going to keep on doing what you're doing. And I'm yeah. going to see you fight for reals one oh, of these yeah, days. Sure. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shoot, man. I can't wait. So that's it, man. We've had a crazy show. And yeah. hopefully um, I probably got one viewer. I don't know. Um, maybe um, oh, we'll, we'll play it again tomorrow. I don't know what's going to happen. So, hey, shout out to my one viewer. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's been a crazy night. And um, I'm going to go to the Tower District and have a, um, have a, have a shot of tequila because you can't tell, but I'm very upset. All right? You so can't we. tell. So well, I'm so man. disappointed, man. Yeah. Are you disappointed? Yeah, we worked hard for this fight, man. I mean, I love my show, man. <laughs> and, <Yeah. too. laughs> and, then, and then it got turned off and everything, nothing was going right. Yeah. So, man, we're going to have to go down to town just to have a cocktail if you guys want to join me because I am not happy. You can't tell. Oh, you can't tell, Kenny. Look. Yeah. Right? No, you're good. All right. So, oh, we got one more video. Do you have Pilot 2 Hill? We got one more video. Oh, we got my Dragonfly promo we got to do next. And then I am out of here, man. I'm not even waiting. So goodbye. Goodbye. I'll see you next week. Let's go. I'm a snake, I'm a serpent, I slither when I move, I'm a fake and a phony, and I know you'll see right through, I won't make no excuses for the awful things I do, just consume your emotions. Leave you when I'm through Smoke's gonna rise from the ashes tonight And you're gonna find you still want me despite No one who I am You know
I'm a poet I'm in my finest hour I'm a thief and a coward Who's come to lay you down Hope this time you don't notice When I come around Things you've read for safekeeping Simply can't be found no. Simply can't be found Little time to mend the wounds, now could it? Stop to feel so good, now could it? Oh, that's the way the dice roll. The dice roll. You know I. 